What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Splash. And today what we're going to be doing is watching the Hanzo vs. Genji cinematic trailer. And I've been on Twitter and you and read comments and stuff like that. And everyone's been saying that th this is an amazing cinematic. That it gets everyone emotional and in their feelings. So I haven't seen it yet. I was waiting to do this video to watch it. So since I saw that everyone was saying that this, this is such an amazing cinematic and that it's so emotional and it gets you like in your feels I wanted to watch it with you guys so you guys you guys could see my first impression my reaction in order to not take away from this amazing video I'm gonna not pause in between and try to talk in between so I just wanted to have like the whole video show I'll you obviously may see my facial gestures I may talk a little bit in between here and there but I'm gonna let the whole video play out and then I'll, after the video I'll give you guys my impressions my reactions and my thoughts mainly as of right now all I really know is that Hanzo wants to kill Genji and so maybe in this cinematic and in this uh, Hans over his Genji video, they'll they'll tell us the background between them and more detail about them. And if you have any questions or comments for me, you can leave them down in the comment section down below, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. And without further ado, let's get into video. My family tells of an ancient legend about two great dragon brothers, the Dragon of the North Wind and the dragon of the south wind. Together, they upheld balance and harmony in the heavens. argued over who could better rule their land. Their quarrel turned to rage and their violent struggle darkened the skies until the dragon of the south wind struck down his brother who fell to earth, shattering the land. Wind had triumphed, but as time passed and he realized his solitude, the sweetness of victory turned to ash. So as of right now, what I understand is that the reason they're fighting and that Hanzo wants to kill Genji is over an argument, like, not an argument, but like, they're fighting over who's gonna rule the the empire. All right, let's continue watching. For years, the bereft dragon's grief threw the world into discord, and he knew only bitterness and sorrow. One day. A stranger called up to the dragon and asked, Oh, dragon lord, why are you so distraught? The dragon told him, Seeking power, I killed my brother. But without him, I am lost. The stranger replied, You have inflicted wounds upon yourself. But now, you must heal. Walk the earth on two feet as I do. Find value in humility. Then you will find peace. You are not the first assassin sent to kill me. And you will not be the last. You are bold to come to Shimara Castle. The den of your enemies. This was once my home. Did your masters not tell you who I was? I know who you are. Hanzo. I know you come here every year on the same day. You risk so much to honor someone you murdered. 
You know nothing of what happened. I know you tell yourself that your brother disobeyed the clan. And that you have to kill him to maintain order. That it was your duty. It was my duty. And my burden. That does not mean I do not honor him! You honor your brother Genji with incense and offerings? Honor resides in one's actions. You dare to lecture me about honor? You are not worthy to say his name! You go wakateki wo kuro! Mada can control the dragons. Who are you? Do it then. Kill me. No. I will not grant you the death you wish for. You still have a purpose in this life. Brother. No. No. My brother is dead. Genshi. The dragon knelt upon the ground. For the first time, he was able to clearly see the world around him, and he became human. The stranger revealed himself as his fallen brother. Reunited, the two set out to rebuild what they had once destroyed. What have you become? I have accepted what I am. And I have forgiven you. Now you must forgive yourself. The world is changing once again, Hanzo. And it's time to pick a side. Real life is not like the stories our father told us. You are a fool for believing it so. Perhaps I am a fool to think there is still hope for you. But I do. Think on that, brother. to PC and consoles May 24th. Wow. I am just in complete shock. Let's just give a round of applause to Blizzard for the amazing cinematic and the amazing stories they put in to this and come up with. All I have to say is wow. That cinematic was amazing just the soundtrack behind it the story behind it the visuals it was all amazing blizzard's doing an amazing job with this game and it's just getting every everyone just so hooked on it the story is so good i i believe they can even make a movie out, out of this game everyone just loves it everyone wants more cinematics everyone wants more stories there's a soldier 76 one coming out soon that i can't wait to see 
I might do another video of these if you guys like it. And so what I understood from the video was that um, Hanzo killed Genji seeking power and thinking that he killed Genji, he he like feels lost. And there, there was a part in the video where uh, Hanzo was like, you're not the first, in, first assassin to come kill me. So basically um, he's had He's just saying that he has multiple people try to come kill him, and every single person he's killed them all. And that's what he tried doing to, well, the person that he doesn't know is Genji, but he tried killing him. And then once he sees that uh, Genji was able to control the dragons and throw them back at him, he was, like, shocked because only, uh, like, they could control them. And then the reason, he says that the reason that uh, he killed Genji was because... Um, Genji disobeyed the clan, so that's why he killed him, and, and he had to he had to kill him in order to maintain the order, and it was his duty to kill him. Towards the end, Genji was when he was gonna leave. Hanzo ran and grabbed like an arrow and was gonna shoot him, and then and then Hanzo called Genji a fool, and Genji was like, "Yeah, I may be a fool, but I I was foolish enough to still hope that you can change." And then I guess that's when it clicks in Hanzo's brain, and and then like the dragon says that they set off to rebuild what they had destroyed. So I'm hoping they come out with another cinematic or like a part two of, of this video. I have nothing else to say. I just, I've told you all my thoughts and on the video and I just, all I want to say is that I want them to make more cinematics about the story because it's so like addicting and like I just want more and more. I want them to make a part two of this. I want to see the Soldier 76 one. I want to see the Bastion one. I want to see all the stories behind them. Like it's just so interesting. And I think they could make a video, a movie, not a video, a movie out of this because they're so they've they've just made the story so well that they can just do a couple movies out of them, just with the different backgrounds and stuff like that about all the characters and stuff like that. They've done a great job with this, and it just gets people more hyped to play the game. Like I can't wait for next Tuesday to play the game. I've been dying since the open beta closed to play, and I just, I've been tweeting at them like, please, please release it earlier. I want to play. I'm so bad, but you know, of course they're like, no, uh, just wait ten more days. Blah blah, blah. <laughs> whatever. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions or anything you want to ask me, leave them in the comment section down below. And it's been your boy Splash, and I'm out. Peace.